I personally have been around um, disabilities and, and handicapped my whole life. Um, I have a, a first cousin who has cerebral palsy, and Cassie, we were able to bring her hunting this year. I have an uncle who is paralyzed from the neck down since 1977 from a diving accident. Um, I've always been able to see firsthand the struggles that, that these people go through, just living every day-to-day -day life, just getting in the depression, the, the down spots, the thinking that they can't actually do things that, that everybody around them knows they can do. Um, you know, we were, we were doing stuff here, and we were really hearing of great, great news coming back from some of the hunts that we were able to send people on, and seeing firsthand through some of the videos how much it touched people's lives, and we just, we got together and said, you know what, we can do this. Uh, we have people here that we'd like to help, and, and it's great watching what your money does when you donate it to, to another organization, but there's nothing like being able to see firsthand on some of these hunts, the experiences that we get to, to witness. Um, we got together the first year and we, we had a very small budget to work with and we had some awesome people who donated stuff to us and, and their, their land to hunt and we just really went out there and gave it, our, gave it the best we could do with what little we had and, and the first year we kind of got our feet wet a little bit and we were able to, to harvest two whitetail does that year and we knew we could do better, we knew we could go bigger. Um, our second year was full of adversity to say the least. We lost my dad, who was a crucial part of our outdoor ministries. Um, him and another guy, you know, Porter, they were in an automobile accident. And for our, our biggest hunt we had planned that year, that was a week after the accident. So we lost my dad, and then we also didn't have Porter with us. And we kind of went at that thing and just made the best we could of a bad situation. And it ended up being one of the most moving hunts we've been on yet. You know, we, we really pulled together as a ministry. And for, at that point, we really saw this ministry explode into something huge and really take off into, into what we knew it was going to be all along. We saw people come in and step in from the outside and come help that we were just, that we knew the whole time we're right on that fence. And honestly, I honestly believe that that tragedy pulled our whole ministry closer together and really brought us to who we are today. Now, you know, we're, we talk to each other year round, you know, every day we're calling, texting, we're we're, we're involved a lot more than we were, and it's almost like a passion burns a lot deeper now for, for a fulfillment that we, we had before, but it wasn't anything like it is now. You know, we saw that year we didn't kill a single animal. We uh <laughs> we went on hunts and and we tried not you know we we tried very hard. I think we had six different hunters that year and we were unsuccessful at all. You know, it's like the devil was beating us down, telling us just quit, give up. You know, it's not it's not going to make it. But we fought through. We fought through adversity, and the next year we said, you know what, we're we're going to be bigger and we're going to be better. We bought all the right equipment. You know, we have all our electronic setups, our electronic scopes, and. In the third year of our organization, just one year after the biggest tragedy that we probably could have faced as an organization, we were able to to harvest 15 or 16 white-tailed deer, white-tailed deer, and two elks in three different states with 18 different hunters. Um, just unbelievable what we were able to do in the short in the short period of time to overcome the adversity we overcame. That we can only say God. That's all we can say is is God is, is leading us by the hand and showing us what we're supposed to be doing. And it's awesome to be a part of this ministry.